You are looking at twilight here in Sydney, Australia on April 16th, 2014. And as the sun has just set on this absolutely incredible city here in Australia, it might as well have been setting on the journey that I've just completed here in both Australia and in New Zealand. And what a trip it's been. Absolutely, start to finish, it's been one incredible experience. And when I started this trip back in December, there was a lot of anticipation and a lot of anxiety about, you know, everything that could go wrong or might go wrong. Or there was also the excitement about what I was going to see and what I was going to do. And here I am at the end of the trip, and all I can think is just, wow. It's been an incredible experience, and how fortunate I've been to have been able to come down at this point in time in my life, being 50 years old, and had the experiences that I've had over the past few months, the people that I've met, and the things that I've seen, just absolutely a trip that I'll never forget. And I'm so appreciative of the fact that I was really diligent in recording the entire trip. Sometimes I'll just pull up my phone and I'll pull up my YouTube channel and look at the playlist, Tom Down Under. And I'm just amazed at uh, all of the videos I've recaptured, just about every, every moment, any significant moment that I've been on this trip. I've got on, on film, and it's just incredible that I'll be able to relive this, this trip and share this trip for the rest of my life. And uh, as I get ready to get on a flight here from Sydney tomorrow on the 17th at uh, 2.45, it'll be a United Airlines flight to San Francisco, 14 and a half hours, I'll be thinking back on the whole trip and uh, thinking of all the different things that I did. The trip started out right around the turn of the year, 2014, and that was celebrated in Auckland with the, uh, with the big sky tower and with some really wonderful people. Uh, Ina and uh, her friend Hiro and her boyfriend Hiram and a bunch of other great people. And that was just the beginning of the, of the trip, the trip that would take me all through the great country of New Zealand. I did everything from the Bay of Islands and I spent a lot of time in Auckland both in the West Shore and the North Shore and I had the opportunity to go down to Napier and Rotorua and I had the opportunity to shear a sheep in New Zealand. How many people can say that? You know, I sheared a sheep in New Zealand. And uh, the Queenstown, the Fergberg, that was uh, an incredible experience. Dunedin, the world's steepest street and going out and seeing the uh, what was that the Osprey Reserve I believe it was out there and in, in that part of New Zealand down there in Dunedin and of course going up on Mount Cook uh, I didn't actually go up on Mount Cook but driving from Teanau uh, through Queenstown up toward Mount Cook that was an unforgettable experience as well and uh, lest I forget the, the Milford Sound, the trip to Milford Sound. I, I could easily forget the sand flies. That wouldn't be hard to forget in Milford Sound. But I'll never forget the trip I took through Milford Sound. And then coming over here to Australia, that was uh, absolutely a dream come true for me. Melbourne, I got to meet a wonderful woman named Nina who I will never forget. Just absolutely a, a, a great gal. I enjoyed every moment that I spent with her. And then there was the, the week I spent in, in Fitzroy where I got naked with Satan, or naked for Satan, I should say, at the restaurant there in Fitzroy. And Melbourne, the, t the tan track, you know, the, the botanic gardens in Melbourne. And how could I ever forget the Great Ocean Road? What a trip that was kind of a last minute spontaneous decision to do the Great Ocean Road and just outside of Melbourne that was absolutely incredible one of the greatest drives I've ever taken in my life and then it was up to Queensland where I actually dove the Great Barrier Reef yeah let me repeat that I dove the Great Barrier Reef that was an that was an experience never to be forgotten 
And of course there was the cane toad race in Port Douglas, you know, that was certainly a memorable experience. And then from, from Port Douglas down to the city of Cairns where I had the opportunity to have a barbecue with Susie and her friends on the beach there in, in uh, Trinity Beach. And from, from there it was spending some time in Cairns with the wonderful lagoon pool and, the, and all those bats hanging from the sky are hanging from the sky, hanging from the trees there in in the city of uh, city of Cairns, and lest I not forget cuddling with a koala named Fred. So that was definitely one of the highlights, cuddling with a koala named Fred. And uh, then there was the Coranda the Coranda Scenic Railway that was fantastic. And let's not forget the uh, the sky sky rail in in Coranda, coming back down from Coranda. And there was Woody, Woody playing his ding-a-ree-doo -ding or whatever you want to call it. And then uh, certainly, certainly not least, but last has been this incredible city here, Sydney, Australia. If I had another life to live, definitely I would put this right at the top of my list. Sydney, Australia is an exceptional city. The city itself is, is fantastic. It's got all the hustle and bustle of a big city as you might expect. The people here are very friendly and the surrounding area, the beaches north and south, are just breathtaking. Just, just absolutely incredible. Bondi Beach and having the opportunity to meet TJ and Amber and, uh, and then going up to, uh, and going up to, um, the uh, Manly Beach, that was also incredible. And then the visit, or the climb I should say, to the international symbol, to the top of the international symbol of Australia, the Harbour Bridge, that was also an experience that I will never ever forget for the rest of my life. So I hope that uh, all of you out there that have been following along on this trip have, have enjoyed the trip. It's been four months, and uh, I hope that you've enjoyed a lot of what I've shared with you over these last four months. I've certainly enjoyed sharing it with you. So with all that in mind, I'm going to uh, bid farewell from, from down under. And uh, until we shall meet again on my next journey, wherever that may be. God bless, uh, God bless all of you, and uh, take, uh, take good care. Tom down under.